Yo, what's up everyone? It's Rail of Rail Beats coming to you live with a Machine Masters tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to cover basically tracking out from Machine to a, a destination folder and importing um, those tracks or those individual instruments and that individual sequence into your DAW of choice, whether it be Studio One, Pro Tools, uh, Reason, or Logic, it doesn't matter. Me, I specifically use Reason 6. I track everything out from machine um, into Reason and I clean it up from there. So I'll show y'all the uh, bare bones project, the machine. I'll track it out and then I'll show you the uh, cleaned out version, the cleaned up version in Reason 6. So first you want to do, uh, first thing you want to do is uh, create a folder on your, um, on your desktop. Uh, name it what you want so that you remember, but make sure you do it on your desktop and nowhere weird so you, you won't be able to find it. <clears throat> Next, you want to uh, go in that folder. Um, well, actually, let me uh, back up a little bit. All right, open up your, your bare bones project, um, and each group you want to individually track out. You don't want to track everything out the same as a master or as a uh, individual loop range. You want to get all scenes and individual instruments. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is since A is uh, my drums, I'm going to open my machine trackouts folder, create a new folder, and name it drums. Alright, then I'm going to go back into machine, I'm going to export my audio Source, uh, the region is going to be all scenes, the output is going to be sounds. And I think I used all of my sounds, so there's no need for me to check anything off. But you do have the ability to do that, um, to check whatever you don't want off. Alright, uh, go to your destination folder, machine trackouts, go to drums, click drums, choose. Um, uh, you can choose your other options whether you want to normalize, loop optimize, or bit depth. Uh, me, I, these are my settings right here so that's what I choose but you can choose differently. I go ahead and export that out. <clears throat> once, uh, once that's finished bouncing uh, what I'll do is I'll go to that folder and I'll make sure that those drums actually made it to that destination folder. Um, <clears throat> And then immediately, immediately after that, I'll go ahead and open up a instance of, uh, of Reason 6. Uh, in your case, whatever DAW you want to use. Uh, I think the concept is practically the same. So once it's finished optimizing, I'll uh, go to the next step. All right, I'll close that box out. I'll go to my trackouts folder, check drums, and there they are. All right. Once I track all those individual sounds out, I open up an instance of Reason. Now, there's a, there's a couple things that you want to do before you uh, import that audio. You want to open uh, your project back up, check out the tempo. All right. In this case, it's 82. Change the tempo in your particular DAW so it doesn't mess with the uh, uh, with the with the timing. All right. Also. You want to go to your preferences and uh, just make sure that your uh, your sample rate is the same as um, as that other uh, DAW, which I think both of them are 44.1. So um, yeah, it'll it'll throw the timing off if you don't do that right. So all right, and then I'll make sure my cursor is at the beginning. I'll go ahead and import the audio. I'll go to drums right here, and then click the very first one, hold shift, and select all of them, open. <clears throat> and what that's going to do is it's going to bring all of those instruments in in the sequence uh, in which I did the project and machine. So uh, now I can manipulate those samples and mix them and put them in their own space and do whatever I want with them. Um, and, you know, exporting them out as groups or as a master uh, doesn't give you the ability to do that. So um, I'll go back into machine and then I'll go to my group B and then I'll do the same thing. 
the same exact thing. Go to my trackouts folder, create a new folder, call it sample. Um, <clears throat> go back into machine, make sure group B is highlighted. All right, file, export audio, same thing, all scenes, individual sounds. Uh, go to your destination folder, desktop, machine, trackouts, go to sample, choose it. All right, export it. And then once that's finished bouncing uh, those particular uh, sounds out or those samples, I just go ahead and close the box out. Go to your trackouts folder, check to see if those samples are there, and they are. Go back to your DAW. All right, make sure the cursor is at the beginning. Import your audio by going to where that destination folder is. I didn't do a very good job of labeling those samples, but it's neither here nor there. All right, <clears throat> and then it's gonna go ahead and input those uh, same samples. All right, now it should give me the same exact sequence as machine at the same tempo. So let's check it out. <laughs> So you get the idea. Machine, I'm pretty much done in here, so I, I'll quit that. Go back in here and I'll clean everything up. So let's just see if it sounds the same. <laughs> Tempo's the same. Everything, all the levels are practically the same. same from there I'll just you know get rid of all these blank spaces and you know do some destructive editing and uh, pretty much clean it up so uh, I'll show you how uh, when whenever I import it I'll just go ahead and freak the beat and uh, after I mix everything I'll probably freak the beat and, and then I'll, I'll uh, uh, track it out as a master from there and then put it back into reason as a master file and just freak it so this is kind of what it sounds like <laughs> Killing them with finesse in this industry By the half stack, stretched out like a centipede Rolling up with papers, had tobacco, call it sick of weed And Hennessy, that's motivation for my own way They gave this shit, they ain't begging, but I'm like, nigga, please so there you can see I, I sped it up a little bit, time stretched it in reason, did a little bit of freaking, cleaned it up, exported the master track in it, and that's that. So however you approach your particular DAW is how you approach it, but that's basically my workflow, especially if I want to put vocals down on that particular beat. Uh, this is Rail of Rail Beats, signing off with a Machine Masters tutorial. Take care. Uh, if you have any questions, holler at me at Rail Beat Boy on Twitter, or you can holler at me by email at railbeatsboy at gmail.com, and you'll be able to see those uh, in the little dialogue boxes. Shout out to at AG Got Beats, man. Peace.